Welcome back to barbecuetalk.ca series how to videos. We're going to do another grill plank uh, video today. We're going to do some meatloaf. Um, we're going to cook it up or kick it up a little bit. We're going to uh, par cook it a while and then we're going to smother it in mashed potatoes and back onto the barbecue. So, pretty cool little dish. Anyway, pre made the meatloaf. Um, you can find the recipe on our meatloaf video. Okay, it's the exact same thing, so I'm not going to rehash what's in there. Uh, simply go ahead and put everything together. And uh, in the meantime, make yourself some mashed potatoes. I mean, uh, you know, cut some potatoes, boil water, add some salt, um, get those cooked and cooled down. And I'll explain that in a little bit. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our meatloaf, okay, square it up. We're going to plop it onto our cedar plant grill. Okay, that's it. Um, my barbecue has been preheated at about 380 degrees, 375, somewhere in that neighborhood is once your grill uh, preheated, okay? Now the way I've set up my grill is I have a burner going here, this burner is off, and another burner here. So it's indirect heat from both sides. I shouldn't have a problem with, uh, with overcooking on one side. We're going to slide our cedar plank right into the middle of that. That plank's been soaking overnight. It's a quarter inch thick. Um, you can soak it four hours overnight, whatever, minimum four hours. So now all you're gonna do is close up your grill, walk away, don't touch it for 30 minutes, okay? Okay, temps are gliding along at uh, 375. In about half an hour, let's, uh, let's take a look. There you have it, looks good, okay? So the next step in this is we're gonna remove this we're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and then we're going to uh, to cover it in our mashed potatoes. Okay, so we'll just pull this off to the side. Okay, see. we'll let it rest for about 5-10 minutes and then uh, we'll coat it in our mashed potatoes, our Parmesan mashed potatoes. Okay, these are the mashed potatoes that I made up earlier. Um, you want to put them on cold. You can't make up mashed potatoes and then put them on the meatloaf, otherwise they'll just slide off it as they're cooking and run over your plank, run over your barbecue. Um, so mash them up, cool them down. I spread mine out flat on a cookie sheet and stuffed them in the freezer for an hour and uh, they were ice cold. Um, so I mean, standard mashed potatoes. Cut some potatoes, boil some water, a little bit of salt. Um, mash them up with butter, uh, some cream or some milk. And I threw in them um, maybe half a cup of Parmesan cheese. So they're actually a Parmesan mash. Okay, so let's put these, we're gonna wrap these over top of our meatloaf. Okay, that's all you have to do, and we'll put it back on the barbecue. Okay, back onto the grill, dress it up with a little paprika, okay, maybe a few uh, flakes of parsley. Okay, that's it. Close your lid and uh, cook it until uh, it's done with an internal temperature of at least 170 degrees. There she is, folks. Okay, my temperature is about 168. It's done. Um, I'm going to take it off and let it rest uh, 10 minutes or so. Uh, the temperature will still continue to climb a little bit, but uh, we're there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're going to let it rest and uh, slice it up. I'll show you the end product. Okay, folks, there you go. It's rested, sliced, beautiful, moist meatloaf and uh, mashed potatoes on the outside and parmesan mash great looking dish barbecue talk.ca please rate comment and subscribe <laughs>